Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way how you can install Streamio application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. So first of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or a Google Play Store, depending on what device you are using. To do so, we'll go to search on your device and here in the search bar, we just need to start typing the loader. And usually there's even no need to enter the whole name of the app because as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. So let's go here, click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down until you see my Fire TV. Let's click on that button and there we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, so let's click on it and open the list. And here we have the loader, which is set up and ready to use. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly used NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks or Android TVs and pretty much any other device that you may have on hand, be it a laptop, a tablet, your PC, mobile phone, they have an application for each of your devices, which is great. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is amazing for us. In the VPN app, you just need to connect to any location and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. So go get those 4 months for free and then use the loader safely. Then we can finally open the loader application and here on the left side menu, make sure to click on home, that's important. After that, click on that search bar and in the search bar, we'll have to type a link, which is going to be streamia.com. Don't worry, you'll see the link on your screen in a moment. So here's the link, once again, it is streamia.com. Make sure to enter the link exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes because if you make a mistake, the link obviously is not going to work for you. After that, feel free to click on go and now in a couple of seconds, the website is going to open. Yep, here it is already here. Now just click on that sandwich button right here. Click on got it and then click on the loads. Then let's scroll down a little bit. And what we're looking for here is the Android TV versions. It does not matter if you have a Fire Stick, Android TV, Chromecast, the only thing you need is Android TV version because all of those devices are based on Android TV. And here we'll see different application versions. In fact, it totally depends on what device you are using when choosing which option to download. Since everyone is using a different device, I cannot recommend you one or another option. It's totally up to your device. So in your case, just try downloading any of the versions. If it doesn't work, then just download the following one. Usually if the version does not fit your device, it just won't install. So for example, you can start downloading from the upper version and then just go down until you see the version which is suitable for your device. So let's see how it works. As you can see, it is downloading right now. You need to click on install and as you can see we did not get any error message and the app was installed 
it means the app version is suitable for our device. In my case, I was using a Fire Stick 4K Max, the newest version. So if you have the same device or just the Fire Stick 4K, you can go with the same version as I did. After that, we have to click on Done. Don't click on Open yet, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we do not need it anymore. So we click on Delete and then Delete once again. And this way we erased the unnecessary installation file from our device because our Fire Stick does not have too much free space anyway. Now we can click on the home button on your remote. So let's do it and let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is. Now you have to scroll down a little bit and there's the streaming application which we just downloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way streaming application is always going to be at the very top of your app list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay out of trouble and once again you can get 4 months of NordVPN for free if you use my link in the pinned comment below the video. Then let's safely open the streaming application and from here there are a couple of options what you can do. You can either scan the QR code with your mobile phone, which is the easiest option probably, or otherwise go to the link which you see on the screen in your application and log via this link. It's totally up to you which option to choose, they are both pretty easy. This way you just log in into your account and mind your business from there. And since Streamio is a pretty versatile app and a live TV player, there is quite a bunch of stuff that you can do. We will not go into much detail here in the video because YouTube may not accept it, but you can find exact instructions what to do next on the internet. And then if at some point you decide to uninstall Streamio, it's pretty easy to do as well. You just select the app, then once again click on the options button on your remote, click on uninstall, click on install once again, and then just press OK. This way we are deleting Streamio from your Fire Stick.